Okay, so we went to the flea market today, and we went to the Market of Marion and the I-75 flea market. Now, unfortunately, I don't think the I-75 flea market's going to be around with us for much longer, because either we go there, to, or either the, either we showed up too late, or they're not, they're barely holding on, but um, it's the, there's not much, there was not many people open, but hopefully here soon hopefully we can go back there but like going in the morning versus the afternoon hopefully it'll be a little bit more lively but um and then the market of marion it seems like just flea markets are getting more just junk like people selling insurance people selling gutters people selling bathtub renovations it's it used to be like, yeah, and also like everyone's got like a dollar store and it's all just like cheap shit. Just, it's basically like the dollar store. But, um, we went, I did pick up like maybe a couple records and I did pick up this and this bag. This is, my mom picked up something there too, but, um, it was a, a retired teacher. She had two of these, but I only bought one of them. Probably should have bought two, but she wanted five bucks for it, and I think it was in pretty good shape, so we'll have to see what this does. It's a school smart, and she was selling all of her um, classroom materials, like her, like the books and all that stuff. Takes four C-cells. It has this weird, like, zip tie thing Here in the back. I'm going to take that off. Just, that's kind of tacky, but it has a little ribbon thing. I don't think it's ever been used on batteries. It's in pretty good shape, but yeah, I probably should have bought the second one from her. And then we picked up some records, but these aren't all, but we, went, we stopped at a thrift store in Brooksville. And... They have good prices for the records. I like to, I don't know why, but I like these, um, k -Tel and Ronco records. But the other ones I picked up at the, at the Market of Marion, and I bought these for my mom. Um, these Glenn Campbell records. Um, Time I Get to Phoenix, and... Wichita lineman. Anyway, um, let's see what this is. Hit after hit. Johnny Taylor, Diana Ross, hit explosion. Has some good music on it. I don't know why I like these ones more. Well, maybe because even though they're kind of like the condensed down version of it, but it's like the artists, they're like most known hit. And you don't have to have each individual album for that. But I mean, that, that, that's kind of what 45s are for. But um, Motown. And then I did pick up this. The Fifth Dimension Aquarius. It's a good song. Music Machine, Casey and the Sunshine Band, Andy Gibb, Peter McCann. Um, it's got a lot of good music on it. I've had this one two times already, and it's gotten broken, but... Sound Explosion by Ronco. Whoops. Blockbuster. I already have this. I already showed that one. This one also has Fly Robin Fly on it. Was also that one too. Then I got this Electro brand stereo. Today, whether I'm baking treats with my kiddos or enjoying my coffee in the morning, Zero Calorie Splenda, the number one recommended diet of doctors and dietitians. So whatever's on your menu today, trust Splenda and enjoy the sweet taste of sugar without excessive calories.
Cookies or carbs. Start with Splenda, America's favorite sweetener brand. Visit Splenda.com for recipes and inspiration. Speaker what might work. Medication, side effects, or ongoing costs. Many patients are a bath. Maybe it's time to get into a new one. If so, check out Bath Fitter. Bath Fitter offers hundreds of. Let's try a. Um... There's my station. Now, I think Electra brand's always been kind of like the cheap brand. Let me go source up a CD. Here's... We'll go ahead and try and play this. Now... I paid 15 bucks for this, so hopefully I can get my money's worth, and I don't think I'm going to EOL it. Probably what I'm going to do, maybe try and clean it up, maybe, and maybe try and sell it cheap locally. I don't know. I didn't really need this, but I kind of didn't want to come home just empty-handed. Um, this uses your typical, let's try, oh, I meant to go find a CD. Now, I don't know if um, Electro Brand's still around, but this is probably maybe like 10, 15 years old, but um, Electro Brand's always been a cheap brand. Um, I think if you want a, one like this that has the record player, Victrola still makes one. But I found a CD. We'll have to see which one has thing on it. Function. <laughs> Okay, what, what, what is this going to do? Open. Oh, it has a CD in here. Mm. Randy Travis Live. We'll, we'll have to keep that. Well, no shit, I'm not taking it back to the thrift store. Be like, here, here's your CD back. Oh, it's registered. Oh yeah, I burned, um, I took a, it off a record. Big week records. Okay, so that works. Okay, let's just try the Randy Travis CD, just for shits and giggles. Okay, now let's try the record player. Hopefully it'll work. I'm going to try and get this control to work. Um, let's see what this... 
thing's nice and disgusting. I don't think this thing's ever been used. Well, it would help if I put it on Phono. Yes, it's gonna work. And it's 78 too. Let's try a 45. I don't really care what happens to it. You can see this as uh, is styrene because you can see through it. But let's let's try a vinyl pressing. I swear the um, Music City Five version of Wipeout sounds a lot better than the Surfaris version, in my opinion. It's got more bass to it. Oh, it's gonna work in both channels, <laughs> or not? Try a 78. We'll just use one of these little microgroove kitty 78s. I don't really care what happens to it. Let's use this one. One of these little golden records. That one's actually in pretty good condition. There's like some sticker right here. Try oh, the album. This is one of those Ronco records I just bought. Okay, so I cleaned the control, and I think we have an intermittent cartridge, but I don't really care. I'm not putting any more money into this. Now, what's doing, whoa, said, sit down, I got some bad news, it's gonna hurt. Said, I'm your best friend, and you know that's right. But your young bride ain't home tonight, since you've been gone, you've been seeing that Amos boy say.
So that Delta, the Delta Dawn that's on this T Power Pack Records, Super Hits 1973. It's the same one that's on the QMO 24 Golden Hits of 1973. She's 41 and her daddy still calls her baby. This record's her completely baby. shot. Uh, The needle guards flapping in the breeze behind here. Got Leroy Brown on here. I'm going to clean this up, maybe try and do something with it, I don't know.